Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. And, you know, last time we tried Third File Rook, had some interesting games. Uh, I think I'll defer from Central File Rook again. Good luck. Maybe one of these videos I'll remember to set my volume before, like, the initial confrontation. I don't know. Maybe. Alright, we open the diagonal, and we're off to the races. Uh, so this is going to be an opening quiz to see if I remember any of this stuff. Um, so to protect this point, I think this is sufficient. And if they take this pawn, I can move up the gold. I think this is a satisfactory way to respond. Now they've played wrong diagonal bishop, and supposedly there's something I can do here. Um, though I don't remember what. So. Since we've blocked our rook, let's just open it up this way. See if they bring the silver all the way out, and they do protect this point. And yeah, they got greedy and kept their pawn, and I don't know, I'll figure something out. I wasn't using that pawn anyway. Um, yeah, apparently that's what I'm doing this game. In general, I'm not sure what my typical response would be to this. I don't see this wrong diagonal bishop terribly often, so I'm not sure I've committed hard one way or the other to how I want in general to address this. Um, but it seems like I can hit this bishop a few times and get somewhere, so that seems kind of fun. Um, Oh, there is a ranging rook response. I thought there was, but I don't know it. So I thought I'd venture out into the wild unknown this time. Um, okay, we're going to pre prepare to strike the bishop once it lands here. But then also, I don't know, prepare something. Yeah. Typical me just being weird. Um, hmm. Okay. We're going to prepare to move the rook or the knight over, even though right now the bishop covers the square. Um... I think I can coax this... Well, I don't have to kick the bishop, do I? I don't have to do anything. Um, except not block my way with this knight. I think this is safe. So if they do something dumb, I can bring the silver to hit the bishop. And now, whether they withdraw the bishop or something else, I can just take this pawn. Oh, they could take my pawn. Do I care? A second ago, I didn't care. Do I care now? Maybe. Um, How much do I want to attack? If I protect this pawn and then bring the rook over... <sighs> this attack doesn't last forever. Um. Mm. If I do nothing, they bring up their silver and kick my silver, and I have not a lot of great places to go to. So let's just be provocative. Let's see if they take that. They do. Alright, see what they do next. OK, 
Okay. So we can keep repeatedly hitting the bishop. Um, that's kind of fun. Slightly pointless, but um, my silver has done what it set out to do, so let's move it again. Uh, let's see. Okay, I've got another silver where the first one came from. And they're attacking as they should. Um, I could do something committal here. This idea seems kind of interesting. I placed my bishop and thought I was going to place another bishop. Not sure why I thought that. Um. Gofun. Okay, I guess I'll cut off their bishop this way. Debated using some of the space for my silver. Um, let's put the rook on this file and do the most obviously unveiled threat of all time. Hmm. Oh, dropping a pawn and exchanging pawn does nothing here. Okay. Oh, if I move the rook into the bishop's path, that's a wrong diagonal bishop. Let's not do that. Um, hmm. Oh, wait a second. All right, we're going to go back, opening this line for my bishop, and preparing a pawn drop here. Uh, silver blocks my rook from sweeping over and ruining their day. That that knight move seems a bit unnecessary here.
Do I? Dare I? No, actually, it's not right. Let's hold on to the bishop slightly longer. I don't know how to attack. I should have... Well, bring, yeah, bring the rook over was safe because they don't have a bishop on this diagonal. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I do know how to attack. Actually, my attack is going fantastically. I knew that. Um... Take one of those. Take one of those. Tactics are hard. Nifun. Okay, let's get the silver out of my rook's way. Freaking pawn. I forgot to pump pawn. Okay. Stupid freaking pawn. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Tactics are hard. The king's going to run into the shell, but I don't have a way to cut off both directions at the same time, as far as I can see. This is such a disappointing attack. Could have been so much more than it is. Bigsby says without an attack, there is no win. 
So I'm attacking. That's pretty much all we're doing here. And that's probably not the correct extreme either. Virtue lies between two extremes. And we are living on the edge, on the most extremal point. I'm not playing with my food, I'm just bad at checkmating. It's going to take there regardless. Fuck me. Thanks for the game. Let's play again. Good luck. Hmm, I don't remember how this goes. I think I've analyzed this before. I 
I think my conclusion was that this is this, this situation's okay. It was uncomfortable, but okay. So, if they collect this and try to drop a bishop there, um, well, if they collect this at the rook, I think I drop a bishop here, I'm forking these pawns. Right, so they don't recollect this pawn, so now I'm just up a pawn. I mean, it's not a comfortable position, but I am up the pawn. Um, then I can use my rook like this. Uh, that's curious. Block my rook temporarily, but hopefully unblock it soon. Um, so they're building Yagra on this side. Um, and we start... Oh, I gave them bishop drop. They didn't take it. Um, and then I push this pawn, even though that's not smart either. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, this retreat. Interesting. Um, I'll offer this obvious exchange, which if the, oh, the horse can run away sideways. Again, what am I doing? I am asking for trouble and getting trouble. That is what I am doing. All right, well, I can continue fighting. Nanafun.
So my bishop could hit this someday, if I'm lucky. I'd need to move these pawns out of the way first. So I guess that's the next thing to do. I could have just pushed this pawn directly. I didn't need to move the knight. Let's get the king off this diagonal. Build a castle? Why not? Um, again, I know my threats are subtle, but they could still be effective. Whoa. Truly. What? How? If I kick the horse, he either steps up and gets trapped. No, it doesn't get trapped. Never mind. So I can push this, and we can have tactics happen. I don't have anything better to do than push this, so let's make some tactics happen. I'm threatening to promote here. I'll defend it somehow. And I'll get a pawn in hand. Unless I feel like pushing this too. I guess we'll take here. Oh, this my rook is loose. I did not anticipate that. Um, yeah, this is what happens when you just let your opponent play the fortress, and all their pieces are balled up in the fortress. Which means I don't get to attack until after they attack. But if they don't attack, then what happens? Uh, well, they'll attack. Just give them time. We've got the pawns to do this, so we might as well do it, right? Go home. Forgot. Yeah, there are actually... My rook protects this, but not really. I could use a rook. I could really use two rooks, but one would not be bad. Hmm. If they repeat that, I just retreat again.
let's attack the token. Hmm. Right, I don't have another knight. I didn't read that correctly. Um. I have three knights in hand. It would help if I knew how to use knights. Yeah, you're not wrong, and I'm hitting that, and I shouldn't be. Um, I was so startled that they hit my bishop. I moved it the wrong way. Nifun. This actually hangs my rook. Um, but we'll take their rook, they'll take our rook, it'll be fine. Um, Hmm. 
I missed something obvious. That's not what I'm talking about. I have a pawn drop right there. Breaking up this shape. That's important. God damn it. This is hard. Shogi is a difficult game. I can't win Tempe if they don't respond to any of my threats. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, they have another check. I keep walking into checks. I'd rather not give them a knight right now. Although I don't see how they'd use it. This is so bad. Just this end game. Ippun. Thanks for the game. All right. Two down, one to go. Good luck. I've done this before, it's kind of fun. Um, but I think there's a weakness on the knight's head. Okay, we're gonna just roll with it, see where we end up. So I've protected this point. The problem is, well, that's not the problem. Um, I don't think. Is that a problem? Now you've got my curiosity. Can the knight actually move up here? Can this be a thing? I wouldn't imagine so. But what do I know? Um...
What a bizarre position. Do they want my rook? Is that what they want? No. Have I just completely bungled this? Because I am down a lance and a couple pawns for nothing. It's starting to look like my opening innovation is no good. That doesn't win off silver, does it? Um... Hmm. I have no pawn to drop if they just lance drop my rook. Alright, so now what? Um... I should have taken the silver. Regardless, I've got an attack, finally. It just cost me everything to get it. But I have an attack. Watch me blow it somehow. Shogi's hard. <laughs> Shogi is so hard. They're going to drop a rook out here and be able to exchange two pieces, or a major piece for two pieces. But if I get a bishop, then I have a fork for two rooks, so it's not quite so simple. Well, after they drop this, I probably move my silver up to break this pin, and we'll see what they resolve to do. But yeah, my... Opening innovation or novelty is thoroughly a bust. Nanafun. Um, that's strange. They were careful to avoid a fork. Um, but there's other stuff here. Even if they successfully promote, like, so what? Okay, that doesn't guarantee that they promote, though. Hmm... So I just castle. I'm just 
Don't worry. Although I could have taken this. I didn't have to. Captures are not compulsory. Mm -hmm. They attempt to trap my horse. I attempt to untrap my horse. Okay. Uh, that's a promotion. Gofun. Oh gosh darn it. This would have been a better square to drop, maybe. But maybe I should have taken this first. But... Oh no. It's complicated. Anyway. So we got a free rook. They save their gold. Free rook is an overstatement. I'm just joking, but still. Um... I think this is a good timing for this night drop. Are they trying to bluff me out of something? I mean, maybe they're trying to win my horse by throwing the rook here or something like that. Um, if that's the plan, kudos, because I might let them do it. But... Um, Oh, my lance makes sense where it's at. Um, So I guess I've reverted back to capture all the pieces mode. So that's our plan. Unless somehow it gets me mated. But I'm not seeing mate. I'm looking, but I think I'm okay. Yes, that's check. Yes, that's check. Yes, this is uncomfortable. Um, but that wasn't the question. The question is mate or no mate.
By the way, it doesn't look like I have mate yet. <laughs> nope. Yes, actually. Um, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Yeah, that's our decision-making process. It's very formal. So I'm threatening silver and gold. Consequently, they must mate on this move. I'm just being careful that I don't walk into something. This is hard. Still have my mate threat with way more pieces this time. Hang on. Thanks for the game. All right, that's three for three games today. And we end on a positive note, bringing us back up to 17%. Uh, yeah, Shogi is difficult. It's difficult for all of us. We can still enjoy it. Hope we enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.